Kamuri municipality infrastructure is set for a major facelift after the groundbreaking ceremony of the Uganda Support Municipality Development Project at the Industrial Area Road. The groundbreaking ceremony was graced by the first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of East African Affairs, Rebecca Kadaga, and attended by Judith Nabakova, the Minister of Lands and Urban Development, among other political leaders and guests. The of our, of our administration, Five years ago, we had the first phase of youth meet, right honorable, and most of the municipalities that qualified and participated in the last five years, some of the municipalities were elevated to a city status. And we believe that this phase we are currently implementing is a call-on phase and also call-on for additional funding that came because of the good performance in the last 14 municipalities. At least 19 kilometers of the municipality roads will be worked on in the next two years. The result-oriented, World Bank-funded USMED program began in 2013, stroke 14 financial year. We performed very well. That enabled us to secure more funding from the World Bank through your support, Right Honorable Prime Minister. And now we are implementing the second phase of this program. Over 12 billion shillings will be spent in the first phase of the civil works in Kamuri Municipal Council. Meanwhile, Kadaga also extended a helping hand to the people of Namayingo and Luero districts by donating maternity beds and mattresses to selected health centers. Our health centers have such challenges. Now, when it comes in to rescue our people, we really, really appreciate and 1,000 iron sheets to the island district of Namayingo to help proof some of the dilapidated schools. I spent the, the day with the, the leaders of Namayingo and the people on NRM day. So we were see our primary school, which is very, very ugly indeed. So I told them that uh, see our na, that this is going to take charge of food. So I'm happy that I've finished my pledge. Now hand over the RDC and the people of Namayingo to go and uh, proof all those schools. We are very, very grateful for this offer and we are going to make the best use of it. Dennis Igoa, for UBC News.